All right. So we have the Porsche up on the lift. We're going to un-eBay, de-eBay some of it. I decided for right now, at least we'll take these off, these strips. Doesn't look very Porsche-like. Where I live, we definitely want the fog lights with some better bulbs in it. For today, we're just going to put the fog lights in with all the trims. We'll go order some bulbs for it. Some either LED, or maybe a HID set. We'll see what we can find. So I figured go ahead and video this. Let's go ahead and do it. So how has you set up here? Let's just bring you in. Get you the right angle. And he has these zip tied in. So let's go ahead and take your 10 steps here. Let's dissect the zip ties. I think that's pretty much it. These should just pop in and these have a different plug in. So let's see if we get this out of here. So let's pull down without touching the paint. Let's pull, hook that in there. Pull down. So we actually, that one's out. Pop me right in the finger, but it's out. There we go. Got an adapter. Let's go and unplug this. Jeez. Definitely a definitely eBay to the max. That's for sure. Just that easy. Let's toss this to the side. We're not gonna step on it. And that leads us, leads us to two things here. So we have this, and we have this. So this is our, or should be our original plug. Let's grab that one second. All right, so how this is all set up. <clears throat> this has a little bulb that goes into the corner of the of the fog light, right? This little bulb acts like um, the LED where when you unlock it, it comes on, that kind of thing. But we don't have the harness for that anymore. So what we're gonna do for today, we're just gonna go ahead and plug in the original fog light, put the screws in it, which won't take two minutes, snap the panel back on, and we'll have to try to locate and see if he has the harness anywhere to hook this up. Okay, let's go ahead and snip this as a, a woo. let's go see a zip tie and a bag on it. Snip that off of there, pull that off of there. And then let's grab the light. And this light's like slightly chipped up, rock chipped up. Actually, the one he has, let me see here. Let's see if this is the right one or which one is the right plug. That's it. I'll go ahead and I'm not sure which way this goes. I'm not the one that took it apart. It goes probably like this. This actually has either Expel or some kind of, of clear bra stuck all over it. So there is that. Hopefully these aren't broke. They don't look like they're broke. Now the tabs. Pop 
this other side in from the other side. And in my opinion, this looks just tremendously better. I did that wrong, didn't I? That side has to hook in first. Like so. And that goes like that. I mean, since I'm just blind, deaf, and dumb, that's definitely way, way, way better, isn't it? Pull those off of there. We're gonna ceramic coat this car today. Now when we ceramic coat it, we can ceramic coat everything, the plastic and everything. Let's see the other side real quick. We'll jump to the back. And these are just standard H11 bulbs. So we'll probably get some good old LEDs for that. But am I crazy? Isn't that just 100 times better than that? I don't know, maybe I'm just crazy. Sticking out a little bit further than that one. That one's about the same, really. And there it is. I mean, we're all on eBay, de eBay in the front. There you go. I think it looks 100 times better. Now, let's go to the back. Let's delete that carbon fiber piece next. A lot of you guys say, man, how does that thing come off of there? Well, I'm about to show you. About two seconds. Take the two screws out for the plate. The whole thing comes off. I have no idea what in the hell that is. Some kind of custom, custom wiring going on there. Well, look at the light. Let's decustomize whatever's going on there. Might be a backup camera, but it is a backup camera actually. So is that just a plug? No, it is not. That probably runs all the way to the front. So we need to, <laughs> we figure out right now, do we want this or not? That's the whole question. Cause that's like stuck on the car. Do we just snip it for right now? Cause it's just coax. I mean, I guess you could wire it back together. Well, that's some pretty shady uh, quality. But that camera is like all hazy, right? You probably can't see that. But it's all hazy. Do we need the backup camera on the Cayman? I really don't think so. Really, really don't think so. Let me make sure we got all the pieces. I'll leave that dangle. Let's make sure we have all the factory pieces. We'll be right back. Okay, so we got this side and holy crap. What a situation. Hopefully that comes off. It should. Um, we just took this bolt here, this bolt, and this bolt here out. I took my fingers and just rolled back that shield and slipped that piece of black plastic up behind there. And then this thing just locks on her. So let's take her hands, bend that back, put the bolts back in this side. Now we get to do it again. Looks like it does have LEDs in the license plate lights. We'll have to check those out. Make sure those are good. Look how nasty that tip is though. We need to clean that off or something temporarily. We'll hit that with uh, something, anything. And uh, we'll definitely look getting exhaust for this. So let's get the other side done, see how it looks. Well, there went the last plate light screws or last plate screws. Let's go ahead and get this hog on there. We'll zip around here. Let's 
got to go a little something like that, my friends. And all the way up in there. There. That one's in, that one's in. We'll bend our shields back and we're ready. All right, so here we are on the ground next day, obviously. Um, we did get the ceramic coating put on it. I did make a video of it. I just used the mothers, the CMX. Mother CMX. Use this pretty much on everything. It works really good. Uh, it's about $20 a bottle now. It used to be a lot more expensive. Here is the car. Everything's in there. The only thing I should have done was take the adhesive strips off, double-sided tape. But I think I'll go ahead and pull the plate off pretty soon and take that off. It should not be a big deal. There's our exhaust, how it turned out. And yeah, the car looks really, really good. Um, we have some clear bra removal we're doing. Uh, we have a video coming up on that very, very soon. We're shooting that right now. So stay tuned for that. The DE bang has already started. And we'll try to get this thing back to pretty much 95% stock. Except for the exhaust. That's the plan. Let me know what videos you want to see on this car. I think eventually, we'll have to race it against the M5, the 507 horsepower M5. Uh, that'll be coming up pretty soon. We'll see you guys later. Thanks for watching. Have a good day.